Okay, quadruped kickback or hip extension. I'm gonna take my normal quadruped stance. Now, for the purposes of this exercise, I'm gonna stay on the same side. We may, depending, go alternating, depending on what we're working on, or just stay on the same side. So I'm gonna take my normal quadruped uh, position, wrists right underneath shoulders, knees right underneath hips. I'm gonna think, engage my abs first, stabilize the pelvis, lift the chest, elongate the spine. Now, I'm, I'm gonna be weight bearing on my right leg, kicking back with my left leg. Both are doing work here. Weight there on this side, I'm thinking long thigh into the ground, just as if I would be in stance. Long thigh in the ground, that'll help to keep everything stable in all the planes. Abs working as well. On this side, I'm gonna think, keep my foot flex, I'm gonna slide, I'm gonna just think, kick back through my heel. Kick back through my heel, so I'm straightening my leg. I'm also squeezing that glute at the same time. So I'm squeezing the glute, I'm trying to not let anything change in the, in the pelvis or torso, and, I'm gonna, and then I'll slide back. Let me up a little bit. So again, a long, long right thigh into the ground, gradually build the glute, straighten the leg, keep the foot flexed, just as if I was pushing off in a running stride. Here, now I'm here, I'm trying to stay lifted in the torso, slide back down, the progression of which would be get here, and then from this left glute, try to keep the foot flexed and lift off the ground, trying to squeeze that glute to get the leg up as high as you can and keeping it straight. Back down and slide. Um, quadruped kickback. 